Hey guys and welcome, my name is Dan and today we're gonna look at the new featured instance being Oz Dunov, Fear and Woundwing. So we're already in here and we're gonna do the Fear, uh, the Woundwing first, sorry. So Woundwing, you get these mammoth, they're gonna chase you, you basically gonna have to get this little labyrinth first, but the thing is you got three troops, uh, groups. And like the middle group has to open it for the left side, and the right side has to open the door for us. And if one group falls behind, uh, we all die because that map just kills us. So that's different and fun. And yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. It's just a pug. I, my kin is not big enough to run this. And maybe we'll do a tier 2 and I'll make a tier 2 video at some point. I don't count on it uh, yet, at least. Uh, you have to stand on these, so there's six of all, and two have to stand on it to activate it. Oh, missing one here on my side. Uh, somewhere. But it takes a little bit longer to set up. Uh, wound wing is a little bit less complex. Uh, there you just have a big barrack, which is weak. If you never experienced a barrack, try to get in a wound wing um, puck. Uh, also important to note, you have to discover it first. So you have to go to End and Wave, so in Eriador, Eriador, uh, go to, um, well I guess I can go to the whole map. You have to go to End and Wave down there and you have to discover it down there. Once you discovered it and you have you know, your VIP or you have the quest pack, well, you should be fine. You need a tank type in the middle. Well, what do you have to tank for? You, you, you're captain. So we're doing the setup. Setup always takes forever. It's, we're doing it 100. I probably just showed a 100 video and then a tier 2 video if I get a group together. So hopefully this will uh, this will do it. I'll figure it out soon. Alright, hopefully This part, um, you know, it's not, you don't need super tank, you just need DPS it fast and pull the lever so the other group can come through and nobody dies from the mammoth. It really depends on other people. But da -da we're still missing one, so here, this, this lawmaster should still be over here. Hmm. Uh, I was hoping that this would go faster and start sooner. Oh, that's a lawmaster. Alright, so once the group leader should be the last one to step on one and then we can uh, start. Yeah, DPS has to go pull the levers or you know, the rest of the group dies. So we go middle, I mean, you can go right, left. It's pretty much all the same. You face the same enemies. And uh, let's do not fall the mini. Uh, we face the same enemies, and then uh, uh, we just gotta pull those levels as fast as we can. And then in the last room, uh, the challenge used to be we have to kill the mammoth as fast as possible. Uh, but we do need tier one, so there's no time limit for us. So you can always see. I mean. <laughs> A little pathetic. So we have to wait now for another group to pull the lever. And while that happens, that mammoth is coming closer and closer. You can see it back there. So we still have to wait. Um, doesn't mean the other group is slow, just some are further away than the, the rest. So now to open it up, now we have to go on. You know, open up the next one. Which, again, it's tier 1, uh, 100. It's not going to be too hard. So, the other group was waiting on us. We pulled it. And there's still a mammoth behind us. So, you, you want to, you know, just keep an eye out from time to time. Make sure, especially if you're range, you know, you just make sure you're not too far behind. 
So that stupid mammoth is killing us. Alright, and then we have to wait for another group. This one, at least in back in the day when we did on level, took a long time and the memory was like there and you're like, oh, we're gonna die. Uh, but the other group just has a long way to go before they can open this for us. Well, there we go. And now we're in this big room. And the mammoth is gonna come in. You see their mammoth is already in here. And then we have to kill the mammoth as soon as we can. It's gonna run in here. There we go. Oh, we just have to take it down. Shouldn't be a problem. I mean, I'm gonna pull the aggro. I do have my shield. Well, I guess we damaged it enough already. And now, you know, the challenge was always to kill them all uh, within 10 minutes, the whole instance or something like that. Um, but for us, you know, there's no... No challenge. We have to kill the ads. The ads come out over here. Just gonna put down this. I don't really want aggro. I'm just gonna run around here for a second. Up oh, there's an ad. Get him. Then nope, that's the wrong one. Gonna get him. On tier two, this can be quite. It was a gigantic DPS race, right? I guess we can kill this one. He's almost dead. Get more ads. Not an issue. Again, tier 1, 100 or uh, 105, not it's huge an issue. We can finish that one. Again, there's no real uh, hurry. Get the ad over here. The more ads? Nope. Alright. Okay, this one just spawns. So, whenever you take down one far enough, they're gonna spawn ads. Oh, I'm playing on my mechanical keyboard too, so sorry if I do click. Normally I have my wireless one, but I forgot. I didn't really plan on doing this, but I saw this group and I was like, ah, I might as well do it too quick. Put up a video showing people, you know, that might be afraid of running a raid, uh, that it is pretty easy. I mean, you know, it better get you out of better, but look at these guys, they're weak. They have like almost nothing. Any tier two, three man has this is tougher than this. So even so, if you don't have any raid experience, you know, oh, I got the eye. I uh, wanna get out of this. Yep, let's get this guy on the healer. I mean, you can't just go and do nothing, right? But you know, it's it's not. You can't compare it with, you know, three men or six men, Dome of Stars or something. Which are even, even difficult on tier one. Ah, there we go. So we completed the first one. It's a big chest. So, you know, back in the day it was pretty good stuff in here. But we also have to complete the other uh, wing, uh, the fear wing, for uh, the whole thing. Here's the big end boss in uh, Dol, Am Dol Amroth. Os Dundur, uh, which, you know, in the end. In the end, you. A <laughs> raid leader. <laughs> Pretty upset that people were DPSing the elephants when they weren't supposed to. <laughs> oh well. It just makes it harder on the tanks because, you know, again, ads spawn and the tanks have to pick them up. Alright, so he's gonna pick us back to the beginning. And we're gonna, well, he's gonna take us to the fear wing right away. I don't know if that's new or if that used to be. So this is the fear wing. It's the endless stairs in the Moria, if you recognize it. And this is probably the, the best ring, ring, the little best wing in, um, in Ostonov, I think. Because we're gonna fight a Balrog in the end, which is pretty awesome. Uh, it should put us in the same groups again, you know, for buffs and stuff and healing. If you heal and you have free groups, it's it's annoying. So these guys already have, you know, uh, things on. Back in the day, it was important for the group leaders to call out specific targets. Tier 1, again, it doesn't really matter. Just AoE them down. Um, I forgot, actually, the order. It's been so long that I ran this. 
I think you wanna take the Marvelins out first and then the trolls. But for us, it really doesn't matter. Again, my point here being is, if you never run this, take this chance to run this. There's gonna be pucks running it all the time. All you have to do is discover it and have the end wave. So if you're VIP, you have this anyway. And it's a lot of fun. It will not teach you how to run tier 2 raids, which are very, very different to this. But you know, it gives you at least a chance to experience the content that was gated a long time and people never experienced this. I mean, who, how many people have seen the end fight in OD? Probably not too, too many. I mean, I already seen it uh, because a more uh, better guild needed a healer one time and you know they asked me to come in. Alright. These fights <laughs> on level were a little bit different, trust me. Alright. And back in the day we still need law masters to um to debuff and stuff. So you have to do them both to get the, the chest. Yeah, to get the uh, the five coins. See how long it's gonna take me. Eleven minutes, not bad. Yeah, I think the more of those are the ones. You know what? We have a target assist here. If there's a target assist, you know, use the target assist. It's there for a reason. So we're gonna use it. Not much going on here. People are not taking too much damage. There you go. But the boss here at the end has a few abilities which I again I did not expect doing this, so I didn't look up the abilities. He has like an eye, you have to look away from him, you can't hit him, if you hit him you die. And then there's a fire that you have to wait all the time. Um Okay, yeah. So he's talking about Gandalf here. So we know who that is, right? So Balrog. So we are up here at the end of the endless stairs. And we're gonna fight the Balrog. Do we No, he didn't explain really what what the things are. So I'm gonna assume we don't have to worry too much. Um we have a warden. I'm gonna DNF him. Oh there's the Balrog. Oh I didn't change I think he's immune to fire. I hope he's not immune to fire. I can't see it. Nah, we, we do damage to him. Whoa, well, it's laggy. Oh, that's laggy. Yeah, I probably have to put down stuff for it. Alright, tier 1. I don't even know if he goes in all his faces. Oh, look at that, he's speaking. Uh, the black speech is that? I mean, they're mayors, right? They're. I mean, they would speak the same as Sauron. Okay, let's see if I reflect on there, or is it just a skill? Yeah, oh yeah. If more than six people die, the whole fight, oh well, you lose, you die. Yeah, he didn't even do the fire. Normally he sets like part of the room on fire, and you have to evade that fire. He calls out certain names, and you have to like look away. But that's all tier 2. I will see if I can get a tier 2 thing together. But that's all. That's all you have to do in tier one. Don't be afraid of it. It's pretty easy. I mean, you have to have a group, obviously, and you, know, you need a tank and stuff. But other than that, yeah, it's pretty easy. Nothing too bad. Hope you enjoyed this. Again, if you haven't done this yet before, you know, do it. It's fun. It's easy. Don't be afraid of it. You know, even if you can join a tier two, you know, try it out. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.